Hey, welcome to DJ Fix. Today, we're testing the Ortofone Concord digital cartridge. This is a really special one, so pay attention. Um, totally got some results that we didn't expect. Here's the, the Concord digital, it's red. It's designed for Serato timecode records, and if you have any experience with it, you know that the timecode uh, vinyls don't actually have music on it per se, but it's um, just kind of information that gets uh, turned into a control signal, and it obviously gets picked up by this cartridge here and then you plug your turntable into your Serato box or whatever and then you it allows you to scratch um, music on like an mp3 or a digital audio file just like you would a vinyl record um, it's got a heavier than normal tracking force four grams it's probably so that it stays put on the record and takes all sorts of abuse and won't jump around and won't skip um, so if you play a normal record on here four grams might just grind the uh, grooves right out of your precious vinyl so uh, you may not want to use it all the time for for non time code records but one day I think we'll 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 lighten the load here we'll uh, you know turn the tracking force down and see if it also performs um, at lighter tracking forces maybe something more like two or three grams but anyway check this out so here's 15 kilohertz as normal We're looking for a nice clean sine wave like you see right there this is a very upper register dog whistle range and we're going to do a general test, a general comparison. And 12 kilohertz, still a nice strong signal. We're also looking for kind of like an even, an even output level across all the different frequencies. So that's what we're seeing so far. 10,000 cycles. So 15k look nice and clean. 12 and 10k, ever so slightly distorted sine wave, but not deal breaker necessarily. Definitely we've seen worse, and this is pretty good. 8,000 cycles. Same here. Not absolutely perfect, but still nice and clean looking and nice strong strong signal. Six thousand cycles. Four thousand so six cycles. kilohertz, here's four. And Unlike most of the other Concord stuff that we've seen, the level isn't really lowering. Where normally we see a nice strong treble response and then maybe it's um, the, the kind of the, the upper mids that we're seeing here are dialed down a little bit. Here it's really kind of consistent. And now we see it, actually the 2K has come up a little bit. The, the distance between the top and the bottom of the waveforms has increased ever so slightly. One kilohertz, that's right in the middle of the, the mid range. Equally strong, very linear, very clean sine wave. That means it's going to be true to uh, whatever's on the vinyl. Four hundred cycles. Four hundred hertz. So obviously, you know, your tastes are going to vary, and you may prefer one needle over the other. And don't feel bad for choosing one over the other just based on our tests here. But, you know, we're a repair shop, so we're, we're trying to look at this as, as quasi-scientifically as we can. And, um, and so that's kind of where, where we get our jollies, is when we see a really linear cartridge. And so far, as you can see, the level has come down a little bit. Now that we're, you know, below 400 hertz, it's not as, as high as it was at the upper registers, but it's still very clean. 50 cycles. We're at the we're at the bottom of the frequency range here. It's 50 hertz. This is getting into your very very low stuff. Bass notes, bass drums, low synths. 30, 30 hertz, as you already know, the very bottom. That's the stuff you feel in your feet more than you hear it. So nice strong signal. Maybe it even came up just a little bit. I'm not sure. I can't remember. So overall, it's a great cartridge. Um, the one concern is like. You know, is four grams going to be a deal breaker for you? It could be. So we'll test it with maybe a, a lighter load and see if, if it still performs just as well. But really for a cartridge that's made for digital uh, control vinyl record, it performs amazingly. So really eager to hear um, your thoughts on it. If you have one, um, let us know what it sounds like if you, if you use it or rely on it to um, just play your regular audio. Very curious to know. We'll do some more tests. I think this kind of warrants it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I really appreciate, or we really appreciate um, your attention and all this stuff and your input, and we welcome your comments and questions. Give us a call or email us. Bye.